Select your character. The blocks joining rig selected. Select your phone. Blender. The blocks body mechanic rigs made simple and fun are now available for 3DS Max, Maya, and Blender. The blocks are simple to use, easy to customize, and most importantly, super fun to animate. Visit gumroad.com slash watch me anime to get the blocks complete 12 character set now. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. We are in a blender and we're about to create an old school beat em up fight idol animation. That's right. A little tribute to the old classics that I grew up with like Double Dragon, Final Fight, Streets of Rage. At the very end, we're going to convert this item to two. So we're going to give it that spider verse look that we all love. But first things first, we need to start with a cool fighting pose. Now that we have our base pose, it's time to start animating. Let the fun begin. So I'm going to be using the straight ahead slash layered approach to bring this beat em up fight idol animation to life. To start off, I focus in on the calm, the center of mass. Now, I prefer to start things off nice and simple with a little translation, a little rotation, just to feel our character's weight as he goes back and forth. Let's dive deeper into rotations. Now remember, the key is to exaggerate Jordan's calm. And this is gonna ensure that when we convert it to twos later on, the effect will look good. Now, if you keep the motion too subtle, there's a good chance you're not gonna feel that Spidey-verse look very much. So be sure to push the performance on the calm, the center of mass far enough to make the twos effect read well. Now let's focus on the spine. I'm gonna to stick to the same workflow I've been using, which involves duplicating three keys and adjusting the curve while the animation is playing in real time. Now, what I love about animating this way is the creative satisfaction it brings that, you know, it just allows me to explore and test different possibilities that often lead to some really cool and unexpected results. Let's continue with the same methodology, but this time we're gonna focus in on the arms. Now, we're gonna start from the shoulder and we're gonna work our way down the arm. By the way, arms are excellent to help train your eyes to grasp the concepts of slow in and slow out, overlapping motion and follow through, which are, you guessed it, part of the 12 principles of animation. All right, let's focus in on the head. Now, when animating the head, it's important to keep things simple and avoid over animating it. Now, we don't wanna to draw too much attention to the head and distract from the rest of the animation. So imagine that you're working this animation in 2D where you mainly need to focus on two axes of movements. So with that in mind, keep the animation simple and make sure it fits well with the performance. Let's take it up a notch as we dive into the polish pass phase. And now we've animated the entire body and now we can review it and fine tune it from a fresh perspective. So the key is that we want to see how each of the body parts interact with one another. It's all about harmonizing the movements, making sure that all of the body parts come together seamlessly, creating a unified and cohesive performance. Moving forward with the second polish pass, I'm gonna use the tweak controllers on the legs to enhance the silhouette, especially since we're viewing the fight idol from the front. Now, to achieve a more aggressive stance, I'm gonna widen the positioning of the legs, which adds a distinct beat-em-up feel. Lastly, I'm gonna add more details on the hand, incorporating overlapping motion to bring them to life. We've reached the final pass where I'll make the last touch-ups to bring this beat-em-up fight idol animation to life using Blender. Now, believe it or not, this is my very first animation created in Blender, and I must say it's been a lot of fun to work with. I'm very excited to continue exploring Blender's capabilities and creating fresh new content for you to enjoy, so stay tuned for more. Now, on the left, we have the final animation with the Spider-Verse effect on twos that creates a really, really cool look. On the right, you got the original animation untouched. Curious to know which animation you prefer? Comment below to let me know what you think. And that, my friends, is how we create an old school beat em up fight idol in Blender. This is round one. Fight to be continued.